everybody, my name is Mike. This is Todd. Today I'm going to help Todd strengthen his place command, or actually introduce him to his place command. Todd is around about a 10 week old puppy in our training program, and he's also an available dog. So if you would like more info on him, you can visit our Facebook page. So today I'm working with some training treats here. Though Todd is so small that I will be breaking him in half. And should you get Todd home or have a similar pup at home that you're working with, you want to think of the training tree to be in something that they can chew really fast. And not fill up on really quickly. So Todd is in the door stage here. And good. Good pop. Good pop. <laughs> so good. Good boy. Good. 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 Good boy. Good. 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 Good boy. Good pop. Good. 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 So as long as Todd <clears throat> stays here on place, I'm gonna mark and reward that behavior. Though, since this is an intro. If he comes off place like he just did, I'm simply going to lure him back on. So again, I'll just get his attention and lure him back on. So you can see, you can see the size of this train and treat now, and I'm still breaking these in half for him uh, when I can successfully get it in about half. Good. Goodbye. Good. Goodbye. So another thing that good we're strengthening here is Todd's understanding of the mark and reward system. We're charging the mark of my marker word, which is good. And of course, this applies to all the commands. Where the mark and reward system will be used on everything. So I'm going to move around a little. And that is so he starts to get the idea that I may be moving. But if he wants his treats, then he needs to stay still and stay on place. Like I say, right now it is simply we're just giving him a lot of treats, so we're going to build a strong behavior. We can fade the treats later. So if I was using this behavior at home to say, because company was over or I had something to do, I would definitely cheat. give him something to do while he was on place, um, like a chew toy, and eventually we will add a leash here, good, good once his behavior becomes a little stronger, and we actually, you'll notice as well that there's no command with this, good, good pal. I'll actually name the behavior when he's very strong at it, and then at that point, go, good, we can add the leash and some leash pressure to help them get a very good understanding of what it is we want. But in the beginning, in the introductions, all we want to do is get 
uh, getting them having a good strong association, a uh, positive association with this. Good. Goodbye. 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 Good boy. Good. So I'm going to end this on a high and happy note with a lot of praise. Good boy. Okay, come. Now release him. Good. Goodbye. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So, and, uh, because this is just the intro, I'm going to put away place right now to keep it special for him till next time though however if you got Todd home and you are using place uh, then of course at that point it'll be a stronger behavior and you can leave place out and, and command him there so Todd did good with this we are gonna put this on YouTube and talk to everybody talk to everybody soon